Following months of skillful training, Grand National hopes reach peak condition for the world's toughest steeplechase. At Middleham, Gusander, winner of Haydock's three and a half mile trial, is led by Much Obliged, another entry. Both are trained by Neville Crump, who has won the race twice since the war. Another northern hope is Glorious Twelfth. He's already performed well over entry's stiff fences, so his supporters should have little grouse, whatever the result. One of the favourites, Sundew, won in impressive style at Sandown. If Rose Park does run for the national, he'd represent real class, and the same applies to Ireland's Sam Brownthorne. Of the other Irish hopes, Fahrenheit blotted his copybook at Leopardstown. Can Virginius give trainer Vincent O'Brien his fourth post-war national trial? One of Ireland's dark horses is surely Tutto. Recently at Leopardstown, he cantered home a four-length winner of the handicap chase. A good long shot. If there's heavy going at Aintree, you can rely on Sandy Jane the second to make light work of it. Watch how she ploughed through the mud to win by nine lengths at Garan Park. For those who prefer approved entry performer, remember the leader, first time round last year, it was Armorial III, and he stayed in the lead until the 26th jump, just four from home. Will he go on to win this year? Who will be first past the post? Remember, unless you go to entry, you can only see the Grand National on your cinema screen.